They're, the other thing is given that fast food, Fred and myself, we do burgers. Mm -hmm. and Bartek is a big burger fan. This bur this Kobe beef burger you got on the after nine o'clock menu. Mm -hmm. Can you explain it to us. We're disappointed it wasn't on the menu this afternoon. Uh, <laughs> sorry, guys. Um, okay, it's American Wagyu beef from uh, Idaho. Um, the Lenny is hamburger, mm -hmm. uh, and he was anxious to get a burger on the menu here. We do a chop sirloin steak, mm -hmm. a hamburger steak, but we wanted like a proper burger where you, you come in and you get you know, the bun, the condiments, the cheese, whatever. You know. uh, but we didn't want to make it difficult for the guys in the back, so we settled on one thing, done one way, um, and uh, it's um, eight ounces of Kobe. Or, or, um, two and a half year old Quebec cheddar, um, a grilled oyster mushroom, um, a slice of uh, a thick slice of um, sever tomato, and uh, romaine lettuce with uh, Dijon mustard on the side. Mm -hmm. um, it's not the kind of burger that requires mayonnaise or anything like that because it's so rich and fat. Mm -hmm. So the Dijon. Uh, just adds the bite yeah. and stuff. And, right. um, we told we have put it on a a challah Kaiser bun, challah uh, because you know it's more shapes and um, we want to run with the traditions uh, of the ownership and the clientele. So uh, yeah. it's a really excellent, chewy, delicious bun. Um, we toast it on the charcoal grill, so uh, it gets nice. Charcoal toastiness on the inside. Um, what, cu what cuts do you use for the, uh, the beef? In the, the steaks? Yeah. No, no, no. In the uh, burger. Oh, uh, we... Um, that I'm, I'm not 100% on because we, we purchase it in uh, uh, pre-ground. Okay. Um, I presume it's mostly Czech mm -hmm. and uh, the fat content is adjusted okay. depending on... Uh, mm -hmm. What it is. And then mostly you, shoulder chuck. Did you do it on uh, which one? The grill, griddle. It's on our on our charcoal grill. Charcoal grill. Uh, charcoal grill, yeah. which is a, a brick hard um, steel grates that are you know interchangeable, mo movable, and live charcoal. Everything's live charcoal. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so if you buy it, if you purchase it pre-ground, are you are you able to serve it rare if somebody wants? Uh, no, I I, um, I would love to uh, to produce the product in house, but um, the consistency, getting the product consistent, is is a big thing, and yep. we may move towards it at some point. But right. um, there's so much on my my plate right now. Right, yeah, really nice to worry about. Yeah. Um, and I, when I get a burger, if I go somewhere and I get a burger, I'd like. It in the I don't like well done. It's dry and chewy. No, I mean, the guys who cook it often they like squeeze I'm, everything out of it. That's so why no I'm asking life. you. I mean, we're uh, at least uh, Chris and I are. We really like our burgers rare, so. Yeah, but we do uh, we do our chop sirloin uh, to uh, to clients. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Because we produce it in house, we have right. a system, and so it works. But um, the uh, yeah, because we butcher all the meat as well. We don't get. We're not getting off cuts anymore. Mm -hmm. It's all yeah. from our Ritz, uh, yeah. Mr. Lone, and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it's something we'd like to possibly move towards, but uh, mm -hmm. time will tell. So strong, strong vote, mm -hmm. and I think all of our favors. The quicker you do it, yeah. the, the better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what else? Uh, I, you know, I'm very curious about the the after nine uh, menu. Um, what other things uh, can we expect on that menu? Uh, uh, it's sort of a replay of our regular dinner menu, mm -hmm. um, but uh, in just in an effort to get more people in the door and, and trying our food, and um, we uh, do a, a pulled chicken sam uh, sandwich okay. on the same uh, holocaust bun yeah. with a uh, sweet pickled potato salad. Right. Um, we do. Uh, uh, lobster roll on our crab cake become main items, and we do those with uh, 
you can go uh, potato chips um, and um, so it just takes a few of the, the, the prime suspects off of our dinner menu right. and put some on. The, the crab cake we had today was a miniature version, basically. Yes, yeah. yeah. That was 25 grams, about an ounce of crab crab cake. We serve a 100 gram crab, crab cake right. with the remoulade and the uh, uh, red pepper food for, for an appetizer, and it flies like a bowl. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. I had done three of them, so. <laughs> <laughs> they're, and they're not deep fried. There's no, they're no, um, they're not like dipped in panko and, and no, deep no, fried. Exactly, or fried. yeah. They're done on a, on a griddle. On a griddle, yeah. 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 Which I think is unique in the crab cake world. It's either pan fried with a, in with panko on the outside, but crusty. Yeah, usually, yeah. But I didn't, I don't like that. I think that's a good call because the king crab is already so rich that you don't yeah. really need to add more. No. Or um, it's also, you go from place to place to place and, you know, everybody's doing a crab cake and they're all doing it roughly the same way. This is different. So yep. it's got that going on, as well as the king crab, which isn't used. Most people use the you know, blue crab or the snow crab or whatever. Yep. Why you don't go with uh, potato chips as opposed to russets? Um, or any other type of potato? I like the, the, the way the, the texture comes out. It's, they're incredibly crunchy. Mm -hmm. um, the russet has sort of a very fine uh, starch grain, so when you get it, it's a very wispy um, almost chip. This is like, you know, you feel it you know, in your toes when you chew on them. Okay. I like that. I like it a lot. Plus, it, like with the crab cake, it's very soft. Uh, and supple, and then you have this nice crunchy chip. The same with the lobster, so right. some good texture contrast. Too. And where do you see Moishas going in the future, and yourself going in the future? Because you see yourself working here for the next 70 years? I know. Uh, when I came on board, uh, I wanted to put things in place to try to recapture what a lot of people here that are working here feeling has been lost and um, try to get us back into the glory days. Um, and if we succeed over the next couple of years, I can, if an opportunity arises, I can find myself moving on somewhere else. Um, I, I could leave you know, feeling happy and, and proud of what I've accomplished. Um, but again, time will tell, and it's a lot of hard work ahead of me. Yeah, there to me is that whole this three till midnight, or yeah. 20, yeah, that three hours till midnight, yeah. it's a perfect thing to bring back the sort of the glory days, get it as opposed to just hidebound tradition of, idea. okay, yeah. got 75 year old grandparents bringing their grandchildren in at six o'clock. No, you have the 25 year old showing up at 11 o'clock yeah. and saying, and getting a good mm -hmm. feed for a good price, yes. and mm -hmm. you know. Hopefully buying some nice wines, and we're working on a cocktail list for just for the afternoon. Mm -hmm. So, I should ask the bar guy if you guys got bourbons. Yeah, we have a good selection of bourbons and and whiskeys. Thank you. You guys, and normally for interviews, the last question I ask is: Is there anything that we should have asked that we didn't? Anything that you'd like to say that you haven't? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, they did. CTV was in here the other night, mm -hmm. and they, uh, uh, the woman asked, um, after they saw it, she asked uh, if we could sum it up in you know a couple sentences what you know what it is about the real moishas. So I told her it's not Grandma's moishas anymore. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it has all the things that made it what it what made it what it is, mm -hmm. but it's got more now. It's got more more for people my age, more for people who are demanding more out of the restaurant scene these days. Uh, gone are the days where you could get away with um, cheating a bit on the, on the presentation or, or uh, you know, the, the quality sometimes. Um, and now the clientele, they are really demanding the best for their money. So. Better than grandma's mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you very much. And good luck. Thanks. <laughs>
Grandma would still recognize it, though. Yeah, she would. That's why we still have the chandeliers and the brick walls and the carpet. But uh, the plastic has come off the couches. That's a good way to put it. Thanks a lot, and I hope you actually do get some time to sleep sometime in the near future. As soon as I leave here, I'm going home. Okay. I'm climbing under the covers and sleeping until later. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you.